Hi, I'm Dilly Den. Today I'm painting one of my D&D characters. This is Olda. She's my trickster cleric. She might seem a little familiar as she's got the same name and general appearance as an NPC that I painted with the IKEA watercolor pencils. They ended up having very different personalities and backstories though. I just happened to really like the name Olda and wanted to play a cute half drow with them. This particular Ulda is part of a darker campaign. She lives in a city that has been taken over by foreign nobles that have used the city in some strange magical workings in order to make themselves become more perfect. Various other factions have put themselves upon this path to increase their own power and influence as well. Ulda was a member of a thieves guild with her party and assigned to acquire a pearl and bring it back. Except they found out that the pearl would grant wishes, and decided instead of giving it back, they'd use it. Except when they wished, they found out that there were dire costs. One of the party members was desperate to become fully human again, so we decided it was worth it. Since then, we've kind of been stumbling around looking for answers and trying to stay alive. Oh, and we've also been finding these paintings that can be jumped inside Mario style, and meddling with them seems to change things in the world. Ulda is kind of a weirdo. She's in charge of making disguises for the group, and usually they include mustaches. The multi-classed, slightly undead mage Gungan is quite proud of his mustache. The merchant rogue, Val, sells rat cheese. And we've picked up a pretty sorcerer named Irene who wants to become a noble. And a parasite druid named Varoa who accidentally acquired a humanoid form. The Ulda in the background is her illusionary duplicate, and she tends to pick silly things for her holy weapon, like a chair. Oh, and I included some of her magic items. She has boots of elven kind and bracers of ogre strength, and a mace that's been enchanted to do cold damage. I think that turned out pretty neat in this. She used to have a magic pen that could write on anything, but it got stolen by a painting monster. There was a time when we snuck into a noble's house with Ulda disguised as the noble. Except he was at home and did not have a sense of humor. Ulda tried to get the guards to capture him as an imposter, but it didn't work out. We ran, but since then Olda has referred to him as her BFF John. Later we found out he was making undead monsters in his basement and killed him, but Olda kept his skull and used his speak with dead on him occasionally. Recently, Olda has consumed poison on a dare. She sometimes plays the pipes at the local tavern, except it's kind of like playing My Heart Will Go On on the recorder. It's awful. She does this mostly on purpose. She lies about silly things all the time, even when it's obviously not true. Sometimes her party members worry that she's going to betray them. Which is entirely possible, but I think she's fascinated by their efforts to change things for themselves, and is having a lot of fun messing with all of the various factions in the city. So they're likely safe for now. I do rein her in, if... The other players have cool stuff going on, but 
it is fun to play a Chaos Gremlin. I think I get more into my characters that lean towards lawful good, like Wake, Emery, or even Zoot. But in the right game, an evil or chaotic character is so much fun too. I really like how her big poofy sleeves and her vest turned out. And I like her mace too. The ice and the blood turned out great. And her duplicate in the background is so cute. I don't always use duplicate because I have lots of other things to set up in a fight, but she is useful when I do have her up. What kinds of characters do you enjoy playing? Does that change whether you're playing one-shots or longer games? Have you ever played an evil character? Oh man, I want to hear about your favorite characters or silly shenanigans that you've gotten up to in your games. Tell me! Thanks for watching! Like and subscribe to continue on this art journey with me. Bye!